This is Philip Atacola, director, producer, co-writer of Milkshake, and... Mark Gonzalez, co-writer of Milkshake. And, and uh, we're watching episode two now. Yeah, so this is episode two. Uh, we're doing a little recap here of what happened in episode one. Now, the recaps. This is another thing that kind of happened out of necessity that I think you learned how to play with in a really good way. And it ended up kind of being fun to think of, okay, how do we recap effectively everything that happened in previous episodes. Well, the problem was, um, and that is so... Modular? Modular, and you just get lost in it, and you're on YouTube looking for puppies one second, then in the next second you're looking at Milkshake. You know, who knows how you found it. So, yeah. uh, it's just, it seems like a wise, a wise thing to do. So this is uh, our continuation here of our crazy bumpers of uh, the impression of what L.A. is like to, at least to me, neon and headlights. It's also just a fun way to demonstrate where we are and to show a side of L.A. that you don't generally see. Now, who's uh, that? That is a fine, fine young actor by the name of Phil Abaticola. Yeah. 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 Dancing your way into America's hearts. I'm just showing how, people, how to do the watermelon here. This is a very famous dance. Now, this is kind of a funny thing because Ned decided to dance his... Dance, right? Just throughout the sequence. Yeah. The, obviously, it's not written into the script. Ned dances like a crazy person. <laughs> he just no. started doing it. Well, we, we, uh, I, had, I wanted something funny that he could be doing in the moment. Uh, it's, important that, it's important that actors are doing something. And I thought, how silly would it be if he's learning how to dance a dance while he's talking with a with his friend about a very serious thing. And it plays into Drake's character of being hyper-selfish. Uh, he loves his friend, but hes he doesn't think whatever... He's not going to ignore him. He's not going to dismiss him. No. But he's not going to be the only thing that he's focused on at this time. Yeah. Uh, he Drake's a clown. He's supposed to be having fun. That's what he is. That's what he's doing. It's why he goes out with Lance. He doesn't go out with Lance to deal with serious problems, but unfortunately... That's what Lance is always dealing with. Yeah, serious problems follow. I mean, oh, this is my, one of my favorite, favorite moments. We cross the line in motion. In motion. Um, and it was all to get to the shot coming up where I'm below them, and we see the neon behind them, which I mimic in episode uh, eight, because I, I love the fact that you, you see a lot of these spots in L.A. that are reminiscent of the 1950s where, where neon was the thing. And so I, you still see it in L.A. a lot. Uh, this is where we get our first glimpse into what, who Lance really is. And he's a, sort of a, just a college graduate wandering through Los Angeles, which is, which is a great deal of the population out here. They're yeah. all writers, actors. A little bit of backstory here. And then uh, Ned kind of, he, this moment right here is kind of a more serious little bit of acting for him. And then he ramps it up to a... Big joke again. It, you really see his range coming through in this one chunk of dialogue, I feel like. Oh, I just wanted to, that moment there, I wanted to just, before we continue on with this, what, what uh, Mark was talking about, that little horn there was a game horn <laughs> as a car horn, as a joke that Drake had made a basket with throwing out his shitty milkshake. Yeah. And I wanted to just throw my, uh, my two cents out there for Megan Cowley, our, our wonderful sound designer, who, who's done an incredible job dealing with the uh, traffic noise and their, their mics and their audio. So she's amazing. So I just wanted to, to just talk about Megan for a second. 